hello guys welcome to my channel once again in today's video i'm going to show you how to use computer in your jump exam so majority of candidates normally fail jump not because they did not prepare very well but it's because they don't know how to operate computer and as a result of that they will spend enough time on operating or on answering question which is not supposed to be so if you look at your jump exam they normally provide 120 minutes and the total questions provided were 180. That means you are expected to use one and a half minute to answer each and every question. But due to the lack of basic knowledge of computer, especially jump um, computer, they will spend candidates will spend most of their time to answer questions. And as a result of that, there will not be enough time for them to answer all of the questions. Fear not. Here I'm going to show you how to use computer in your job exam so first of all let's go to this place then here we select our our subjects under the you are expected to write four subjects english is compulsory and any other three subjects so let's practice now Normally, the total number of questions provided for you on that day is 180. But for practicing purpose, you are going to use just 50 questions and the um, total of 35 minutes. So all you need to do now is to start exam. So here are your questions. Look at question number one. It says, what is Umi's occupation? So if the answer is A, on that day, you will see A on the keyboard. You just have to click on A and you see N on the keyboard also. N means next. So you have to click on next. Let's say here the right answer is um, D, which is accounted. You click on accounted, you click on next. So you have answered that one. The second question says, who can be described as a middle sum? So if the answer is daddy, if it is umi, if it is bint, which is C, you just click on C, then you click on next. In your keyboard, you see N, N means next, you click on next, then you go to another question. This question says, just call yourself Omar Esquire. Who makes this statement? Then if the answer is A, if it is B, if it is C, you just click on it and you click on next if you don't know the answer. You know, that place is blank now. Look at question number three. Because we did it answer it, it is blank. So you can just solve all the questions. Anyone you don't know, you can just jump. And after everything, you come back on those ones and, you know, solve them. Look at this question number four. What position is Umi? What, what position is Bint in the family? Bint is last born. Cool. So you click on A. If the right answer is A, then you click on next. So after everything, let's assume this is calculation and you want to do any calculation here. All you need to do, you can see, you can see calculator sign up there. Look at this place. This is calculator sign. You just have to click on it. Then you type whatever you want to type. It's inside this place, there is square root. But in your real examination, there is no square root in the calculator and there is no um, sign rule cosine rule and tau rule so all you just need to do is to cram those ones before you enter examination hall the most important one is sine 30 cos 30 tan 30 sine 45 cos 30, 45 tan 30 uh, 45 at the same time um sine 50 cos 60 and tan 60 they are very very important so at the end of everything if you are done and you want to submit your exam on your keyboard you click on S, which is submit and you click on Y are you ready to submit if, if you yes you click on Y then you finally submit your exam and leave the examination hall for this purpose if you want to quit our exam now just click on quit exam you click on OK so you wait for years it is loading so we have quitted the exam and you can see I score uh, 8 so out of the four questions I answered, that means I got two correctly. And in your job examination, each question carry no less than two marks. So 
if you get any one right that means automatically you have score two marks so that is it and um, other important things for you to know is um, you know if you can, if you are not familiar with um, mouse because on that day they will provide you with mouse if you are not used to mouse just be clicking on the keyboard if the answer is a you click on a if the answer is b you click on b if the answer is c you click on c if the answer is d you click on d if you want to next you click on n if you want to come back you click on p so those are the useful keys you need to answer your jump exam and if you want to finally submit you click on submit so that is what i have for you today and if you find this video interesting please consider subscribing for more videos thanks for watching